Now these are the ones that get you. Uh huh. What's going to save you? Your order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I've even heard. Now remember, these videos are not affiliated with any school. I've even heard some about pimps expect money, and you come up with your own D and S. Okay. Okay. Eh, some people like that one. Catchy. It's got edge. Um, I'm over here. Do I have any parentheses? Yes. So I go inside those parentheses. Okay. Is there anything that I can do inside those parentheses? Yeah, yeah. What? I can subtract. Absolutely. Do these two numbers have the same sign? No, see? So I'm going to subtract and I'm going to associate the sign of the bigger. 3 minus 5 or Accordingly, five minus three? Yeah, that thing is um, two. What's gonna be the sign on that? Negative, why? Because the five's bigger. We work inside out, left to right. And uh, five minus three is two. Now I'm gonna recopy everything. What was my operation out here? It was multiplication. What's it going to be down here? Multiplication. So then this is a, a minus 2. And then I still have 2 times 3. Tee hee, tee hee. But wait, there's more. Have we taken care of our parentheses? Well, kind of. We still see that there are some. So we go inside it. Inside there, there's nothing we can do. We can't add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So then we need to go on the outside. Awesome. Um, this is multiplication. What's two times three? Six, for sure. Is it positive or negative? It's positive, why? Because they have the same sign. Now I'm over here. Do they have the same sign? Yes. I need to point out, this is subtraction between these two terms, so I'm gonna leave it with an operation in there. That operation is going to be determined by the signs of my numbers. This is a negative 2 times a negative 2 giving you a positive 4. Sure. So now I'm going to take 6 and 4. What do I get now when I add them? 10. And then what? Yeah. A box. And a flower. You want more, don't you? Order of operations. Do I have any parentheses? Mm, I do. Inside these parentheses, do I have any parentheses? Mm, I do. Inside those parentheses, can I do anything? Yes. What's three minus four? You need to ask yourself, do they have the same sign? Yes. When they have the same sign, you subtract and you associate the sign. Three minus four is the same as four minus three, which is a minus one. Why? Because we associate the sign of the big, and that's why I said they were the same, as far as the operation goes. Then I bring everything else on down. Looks like I got a, a minus two right there. There's your five. Those are still in these brackets. Yeah, I still have a minus one over there, a three on the outside of that, and I'm still adding two. Woohoo! I only changed one thing from line to line, and that was inside those parentheses. Great. So now you exercise your order of operations again. You step back to the top. Do I have any parentheses? Yes. I step inside. Do I have any parentheses? Yes. Can I do anything in there? No. So then I proceed out. Inside these parentheses, do I have any exponents? I don't. Do I have any multiplication? I do. Right there. Good stuff. One times two. It's two. 
Do they have the same signs? Yes. So what's the sign of the product? It's positive. And then I bring everything on down. It doesn't change. It doesn't change. It doesn't change. So now I exercise my order of operations. Only one thing changed from here to here. My multiplication. So now do I have any parentheses? Yes, so I go inside those parentheses. Is there anything I can do inside those parentheses? Looks like I have some addition. What's five and two? Seven. Sure. And then everything else on the outside stays the same. This is no time to step skips. Okay. Awesome. So now I need to now I need to exercise my order of operations. Do I have any parentheses? Yes. So I go inside those parentheses. Is there anything I can do inside those parentheses? I'm talking about addition, subtraction, multiplication. No, nothing. So then I move out. Do I have any multiplication? Yes. Three times seven gets you 21. Hold, hold. Ha, never mind, blackjack joke. Okay, um, then I'm gonna bring everything on down. Here's my two plus 21 minus seven. Very nice. So now here's what I'm talking about, man. Here's what I'm talking about. Look at what I got. I got two plus 21 plus seven. Your list, it tells you that you're always, it says add before subtract unless they're written next to each other. This is the case that they're written next to each other. Sometimes you will add and then subtract. Other times you will subtract and then add. Why is this? So that you get the same answers that they have in the back of the book, right? It's our order of operations. This is our hierarchy of operations. These are, in fact, the same operation. These are, in fact, the same operation. So you do them from left to right when they're written next to each other. So here, what's my leftest most number? Two. I'm going to take these two first, not because addition goes before subtraction, but because you go from left to right, Daniel son. Good stuff. Two and 21, do they have the same sign? Yes. That sign is positive, so this is a 23. Tee tee and then I'm going to subtract seven off that. Awesome. Bringing it right on up here. 23 minus seven, man. Do they have the same sign? Nope. So what you gonna do? Subtract. 23 minus seven. Oh gosh. 16? 16? Positive or negative? Which one's bigger? 23 is bigger. It's like you got 23 good guys, right? Pretty strong force. Mobbing, mob deep. Um, 23 minus seven. 16. A box. I don't know. What you want? Sucker.